go. What is up guys, it's your boy Mauricio Lopez here back with another awesome video. How are you guys doing now? It's currently what? It's about 11 um, in the morning. It is currently November 17th and I'm about to go to the gym. Obviously today is Tuesday, so I have an evening shift at work, which means um, I am in for a morning um, gym session. For today's session, we have legs. Now that I have changed my workout split to one upper body, lower body rest, upper body, lower body. So a four day a week split, which I think it's much better. It's going to be much more beneficial um, for me and my uh, time management issues that I have been, you know, encountering in the past, training anywhere from five to six days a week. So this is a new split and I am really sore from yesterday's workout because it was basically a bunch of super sets of um, chest and back and with you know some arm you know workouts as well Alright guys, so it's already 1 p.m. and that leg workout took me about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours and it only consisted of three exercises, but you know, it's it's leg day, so really long um, rest times because I'm trying to, you know, like save as much energy as I possibly can for my next set. So it was a pretty good leg workout. I, I felt um, surprisingly strong and my squats felt really good almost zero back pain maybe just a little bit but almost nothing which is a big improvement I am definitely gonna um, keep adding more weight to the squat rack uh, because I eventually want to do well my goal is two plates for 10 reps on squats for three sets um, I'll catch you guys at the grocery store HEB because as you can see guys the homeless problem in Austin is absolutely ridiculous over the past two to three years, it's gotten really, really horrible, man. What can you expect? Austin is run by Democrats. Diet ice cream because we're diet ice cream because we're on a diet. So guys, it is currently 10.32 a.m. It's uh, Thursday, November 19th. So um, it's currently, you know, the next day. And I didn't film this yesterday because I just couldn't get around to it. Um, I was very busy going to the Verde van and, you know, buying the Austin FC gear, even though they didn't have, you know, my sizes left. I think I might go to the Yeti store today because um, they might have some in stock. I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to go check. All right. But the main topic of this video, why I'm filming this video is, you know, simply because it's, you know, something. It's a problem that I have, I have, you know, suffered with basically um, ever since I began to, you know, speak. And uh, that topic is, you know, the secret to controlling your, your emotions. And you might be thinking, what does controlling your emotions have to do with you beginning to 
speak. The answer to that question, my problem, well, I don't really want to call it a problem, but you know, um, I used to have a very severe stuttering problem, which I couldn't, you know, basically say anything because um, I would get stuck and then people would judge me and um, I got bullied, you know, very severely for, you know, throughout elementary um, and middle school. So since I was always too scared, you know, to speak up and say something about it, you know, and defend myself. Um, I pushed it under the radar, which meant, you know, means suppressing my emotions and then, you know, accumulating to the point where I would take those emotions out on other people who had nothing to do with that problem. Um, even myself, I would, you know, yell, I would be mean, I would, you know, um, be very just miserable in, in myself because this was always you know this was something that was horrible for me up until you know a year ago which um which was when i really decided to like strap up my boots and fight it was it was tough man my first tip is to critique yourself um you need to understand that you are not the end all be all in this world you know there's people that know more than you there's people that have there's several millions and billions of people that have lived more than you when i stumble upon adversity and i you know fell maybe i took my emotions out on my brothers or my mom or my friend or my dad you know um it's very important for me to you know fix analyze what i did wrong and start um talking to me um not like you know speaking to me in front of a mirror you know talking to myself in my mind be able to answer why i took out my emotions on that certain person and what can i do better what are the requirements that would allow me to use more of my rational mind let's get to the second tip the second tip is slow down bro whenever you're so angry that you feel like you're gonna explode maybe your girl cheated on you maybe you got falsely accused of falsely accused of something whatever it is maybe that's causing you you know your anger slow down slow your breath down slow your speech down sl slow your actions down bro and you will see that this is very effective if you want your rational mind to take over instead of your emotional mind um so when that time comes that you have to make that big decision you are well thought out your 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 answer to that decision that you have to make it's 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 gonna be the best one that's for you so slow down slow your movements down so obviously you know speak slower breathe deeply just take time bro um and just calm down because you want to approach everyday problems and big problems with a level-headed mind you do not want to think of the moment and make stupid decisions so you know that's that's arguably my biggest tip here is to slow down slow the fuck down now let's get to the third tip and the third and final tip is a love hug you might be thinking what is a love hug if you're a person that has suffered or currently suffers with your mental health like me i want you to listen very carefully because what i am about to say can be a huge game changer when you start to get all of these negative thoughts like your mind is telling you no one likes you or or you know um you're just an annoying piece of crap or you deserve nothing you know the world would would be better off without you any self-defeating thought though those thoughts can can be changed and 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 you have to change them because if you don't you can get into very dangerous territory you know um like self-harm um self-deprecation um you know these these horrible horrible things and we obviously want to avoid that and one thing that really helped me is to just you know hug myself like like this like just hug myself when i'm in private because if i do this in public it's gonna seem pretty weird so now i'm hug myself and tell myself bro it's it's gonna be okay just just take a deep breath and when you hug yourself you know like it just for some reason relieves a lot of stress and anxiety and 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 these negative emotions that you might have and you also want to set realistic expectations you know don't expect the first time that you try this every negative emotion it's it's just gonna go away that's not true bro you have to take things step by step all right guys that is it for today's video if you liked it you know thumbs up make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell on because i drop new videos every week and you definitely do not want to miss them 
So, you know, with this whole with this whole COVID pandemic thing, you know, going on, um, be sure to stay safe, wear your mask and social distance. I love you guys. As always, thanks for watching.